Welcome and good evening, wonderful dice of all alignments. I am Lunar D8, and we're going to get another one of the secret pages in Jubilee. OBS Chan seems working just fine. Um, this is Canyon Stone Village, but we're like right next to the. We're here, where the blinking face thing is. So. By the way, I saw a funny video. Wasn't this one. I try to be funny, but I'm not. I don't know. I did a part in Noita once where... How did he do this? But... I don't understand. I... One moment. Mute his video and go back to 208. But the funny video I saw earlier was, it was a type on YouTube, what if Batman and the Joker were neighbors? It was hilarious. But yeah, how the fuck did he do this? How, how do you do? <coughs> but, yeah. I don't know, I did a Anoita video once. I ran around screaming about how I'm on fire and stuff. By the way, you guys ever wonder why Batman doesn't kill the Joker other than reasons of honor and... How the fuck is he doing that?! But other than... But other than, like, you know, honor and apparently being the right thing, you, know, you gotta keep in mind, <coughs> Batman's originally made for 10-year-olds. Granted, it could be a great movie for people of all ages. And I do enjoy a lot of the comics, which definitely are much more mature than what kids should ever see. But for the most part, Batman is intended for young audiences. You can't have a show that promotes killing to children. That's the main reason Batman can never kill. Because genre reasons. It's just... But more than that is this. It's also the idea that Batman isn't exactly very emotionally stable. Yes, he's got a great deal of discipline, but he's got some trauma and stuff. Batman honestly doesn't think he could handle it, Like, he feels that if he were to kill somebody, it would make his trauma worse, and he wouldn't be able to stop. So, yes, some of it he doesn't kill the Joker out of a misplaced sense, or properly sensed place of, um, pride or honor, or righteousness but at the same time you know it's a show meant for kids you can't you can't make a show for kids and tell them it's okay to kill you just you you can't do that <coughs> same way cuz you want you know you people are it's kind of like even martial arts everything's done like a lot of martial arts are based off animal forms and stuff People learn by copying. They don't want people to... Because they know people are going to emulate Batman. So, I mean, they don't want people to... I mean, though, granted, you don't want people to be actual vigilantes in real life, because that would be dangerous. Even if you were a billionaire who was a professionally trained martial artist. How does he do this? But the other reason is that Batman himself doesn't trust ah. Ah. he doesn't trust himself like not only with his pride now but he honestly doesn't 
it's too emotional, painful for him, and he doesn't trust himself to come back from it. In fact, he's pretty certain that if he does cross that line, he won't come back from it, and he'd be worse than anyone. So it's not that he doesn't want the Joker to die, it's more so that if he doesn't do everything he can to save the bad guys, if there's any possibility of saving them himself, then he's just... Then again, he's a billionaire? Why can't he afford a therapist? Or, you know, things that help you emotionally cope. I mean, he could literally do anything or go anywhere, I mean. So, I mean, there are, there are alternatives to make life better. But main point is this. He's, he, he should be able to afford a therapist. But then again, I think that's another thing. Not only is Batman intended for 10-year-olds, though I enjoy it, and I think people of all ages enjoy it, because the, the genre has expanded, but the main thing is the original genre. Okay, I know people said that a lot of the old comics were kind of brutal as well in the back, but the main thing is... You can't have a show for kids and say it's okay to kill. You can't. You just can't. That being said, it's kind of the same thing with Pokemon. <clears throat> oh, by the way, before we go any further. Injustice. The whole thing with Superman killing the Joker. Let's be honest. No matter how against the death penalty any society is, if anyone actually did what he did in that you know, game, movie, comic, whatever. I'm pretty sure the government of every nation in the world, especially the one where things went down, they would have held a trial and publicly executed him. So there would have been no need for Superman to do anything. And here's the thing. Batman just saves them because it's simply a byproduct of his own trauma. He emotionally can't cope with the idea of either him accidentally, him killing somebody, or him not doing everything he can to save somebody. Now, granted, I mean, he'd probably still feel bad if, like, oh, I should have been there and known to do this if somebody else did it. But at the same time, he's a billionaire. I'm... Because I'll be honest, <clears throat> I could probably be sad about a few things. But... There's a difference between being at a job where you can't listen to music and your mind is just sort of focused on stuff that annoys you while your body is in a little bit of physical pain, or you do whatever the fuck you want and, I mean, there, what's stopping Bruce Wayne from starting a rock band? Or just doing anything? I'm just saying this, if like, oh no, the someone else, like... Let's say the Punisher killed the Joker. Well, or Daredevil. Let's say Daredevil killed the Joker. Well, if Batman really feels bad about it, then he can just get an extra therapist. Have more than one. He can afford it. But I guess another reason why the, the whole Batman doesn't really see a therapist thing is, well, think back when Batman started. It wasn't really considered socially acceptable to talk about your feelings or see a therapist. So, hey, you guys remember the old Adam West Batman? It's interesting, it's just you can definitely tell it's a different style of humor. Then again, it's like, what's the difference between British comedy and American comedy? Like, and I feel like there's just more sarcasm and less optimism in British comedy. They're both good, it's just... I feel like American comedy is slowly becoming more British. Is it? Like, are we becoming more like Monty Python, or is that not a thing? Is that my imagination? I don't know. Heck, what if the UK and America became, like, back to being one country at one point again? To, like... Like, I don't know if England and the, you know, Wales and Ireland and Scotland have anything that's the equivalent of the U.S. Constitution or the Bill of Rights. But what if any rights afforded by that were also granted America? And what if the U.S. Constitution and the Bill of Rights and the amendments also applied in the U.K.? 
I don't know how anyone would feel about that, both in the UK, America, or other places. I don't know. I was talking about Batman. The other thing is this. It's a show meant for young people. It's like Pokemon. I thought Orge Island League was the best. Ash was getting smarter. He was growing up. He was getting more mature. He was... And the characters were actually having character development. After that, they redumbed him down, made him give up several of his Pokemon, and all the character development was just wait, thrown away, and we just got to rinse repeat over and over. Which, it's cool to see new areas, and new Pokemon, and it makes sense. I mean, when Pokemon came out, I was probably about the same age, if not younger, than Ash Ketchum. I can't remember exactly. But, it was a nice experience that, you know, Pokemon being wholesome. And while, as we grow up, we want to see you know, our heroes and the TV shows to grow up with us. At the same time, if they do, it wouldn't be the same experience for the future generations. Besides, if Pokemon kept, like, letting Ash grow older and become more mature, in the end, Pokemon would have turned into Baki the Grappler. And... That may have been a little violent, because there's a little bit of blood and violence in Baki the Grappler. Then again, I feel like it kept going further and eventually become Berserk. I don't know where we go after that. Dragon Ball Z? I don't know. Imagine power scaling. We. Oh, oh, oh god! <coughs> I, I, I didn't remember where the fuck I was. Right, let's view our collection. Right, we got this guy last time. Loves MMOs, plays healer, but trolls by pretending to be a noob. Okay. I don't know. There's some other interesting comedy channels out there. There's, um... Super Xavier, Solid JJ... Heck, there's plenty of... little funny, like, voice quills... and Solar Astartes, and... other little funny little clip videos. Solid JJ, I think I already said him. I don't know, Super Xavier? I just, I like comedy videos. I try to be funny in some of these videos. As I just ramble on about whatever. Okay. I, don't know, I made a video once that was like two hours long, playing a medley of Sega Genesis games. Just go to my channel and type in Sega Genesis. It's. I hope it's funny. There's also Resident Evil 7 and Resident Evil 8 Blind. <laughs> 